Hello, Vaughn from SOW Outdoors here. We haven't done a vlog in a little bit. Um, our son Grayson is going to be here in about 15 days. I'm actually under the weather today and I picked up some bug while traveling. But I um, wanted to do a video. Um, I've been working on some things and hadn't really recorded anything or uploaded it to YouTube. So my voice is a little funny, I apologize. Uh, today I wanted to go through an overview of a gun that I've had for a number of years here. That would be the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. Uh, with the laser. Um, this gun I've had since 2010, I believe, so about seven, eight years of, of faithful everyday carry of it. Um, although I always thought the caliber was a little bit on the small side, uh, it did carry six plus one rounds. Um, and, you know, it was great for concealment, it was great for a backup gun, it was great for uh, just handy throw in your shorts uh, when you're wearing shorts and flip-flops in the summer. Um, but I've done some upgrades to it recently, and I wanted to take, the, take a moment to show you what I've done. First, let me uh, lock and clear the weapon. We're going to visually check. So what I'm showing you here is the current iteration of what we'll call my build. And I'm not pointing this at my face, I'm just angling it. So this with Smith & Wesson Bodyguard, seen a lot of miles, uh, seen a lot of carry. Uh, the finish has actually held up pretty well, but things like the original laser that came with it uh, failed after the first few years. Um, you know, and just a few things here and there that I didn't like. Uh, but we've upgraded that. Now the aftermarket's caught up. Uh, first things first, this is a, um, a Gen 1 Bodyguard 380. Uh, before they were renamed the M&P uh, Bodyguard or M&P 380. Um, this was when you could only get them with the integral safety and the laser built in. This was also when the InSight laser uh, was prevalent before the Crimson Trace models came in. But uh, serial number EAB, so EAB uh, was the first generation. This one's actually um, in that first generation batch. EAA was actually the first first gens. Uh, this is the the next of the first gens uh, but anyway let me get into this a little bit um, first things first um, Galloway Precision uh, does a number of upgrade kits um, those guys are great they also post videos on how to do it uh, me being kind of an amateur uh, especially in the gunsmithing world but know how to use tools uh, found their videos pretty helpful and straightforward uh, walked it through with me um, so before I disassemble here I wanted to cover a couple things uh, first of all, I mentioned the InSight laser had quit working originally. Uh, the buttons had actually fallen off and the laser wouldn't stay on and it wouldn't focus or whatever. It would just, with recoil, turn itself off. Um, actually, Smith & Wesson has one of the best customer service. I must say I'm impressed. I called them up. They answered my call in like the second or third ring once I was put on hold. Um, Wayne over there, I believe was his name, told me, yeah, no problem. Take your laser out, keep your batteries, and send the thing in. Within seven days of putting it in the mail, I had a new laser, which is actually the Crimson Trace design instead of the InSight laser. So, I don't know if this uh, camera will pick it up here, but it's got a couple modes of operations. Now it has the cool red uh, buttons that match my Santiago trigger, which we'll talk about next. Uh, but all in all, this, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it used to say InSight laser. Oh, I had you on the wrong side. Let's see if that'll focus. Yeah, see the original said InSight. Uh, now my frame's still gonna say InSight until I do a frame modification, but it is in fact the uh, Crimson Trace laser now. Um, as we get into this, I did uh, Galloway Precision Santiago trigger kit. And this is a, um, a hammer spring upgrade. It is a trigger spring upgrade. It is a drop-in trigger and sear, as well as a disconnect bar spring and a few other things. Um, this also gave me the time to take apart a gun that had seen a lot of pocket carry and clean out all the lint, make sure everything was lubricated and oiled while I was doing this trigger kit install. Um, let me just visually clear, but I don't have a before and after, but this thing is such a nice, such a nice take up. Now it is a double action only pistol, so it is going to have some pull, um, but it's not much. It's take up and then snap, take up, snap. And, you know, this could be fired extremely rapidly. Um, 380 ACP doesn't kick very much, but, you know, with a small gun, small barrel, and, uh, you know, some decent self-defense loads, uh, it can have some snap in your hand, especially being that it is about the size of an iPhone. So, while we're talking about size next, here's my iPhone. 
Here's my pistol. So this thing hides extremely well. Um, I often carry this gun with a number of uh, holster options. My probably go-to is this uh, Galco, I'm sorry, uh, DeSantis pocket holster. And it sits just like this in my front pocket or back pocket. It oftentimes kind of conceals itself as a wallet in my back pocket. Um, another option I have is a leather outside the waistband option from a Texas local gun, gun maker. Uh, sorry, gun leather uh, maker. Not really sure the name. I don't think it's printed on here, but this is a good one just if you want to keep it light um, outside the waistband. Probably, if I had to rank these, this is my number two option. This is also a DeSantis um, inside the waistband. And what I like about it, <clears throat> because this is such a small gun, this rides right at belt level and it hides extremely well. Unlike some of my other carry pistols that you have to wear a longer shirt or a baggier shirt or you know, maybe go to a XL as opposed to a large. Um, this actually hides extremely well at the, at the waistline without looking obscene or a bulge or printing or whatever. So anyway, um, next I want to move into some of the other upgrades we've done to the pistol itself and then we'll talk about magazines. So this pistol disassembles pretty easy. Lock it back. There's a lever here for the takedown. Goes forward, just presses off. And let me show you, you can see the Crimson Trace uh, badge as opposed to the insight. Um, you can see the underside or say the top side of my DeSantis trigger. And um, it's, it's got some other um, spring upgrades in the frame and in the chassis itself uh, that come with that kit. I must say I recommend the kit. For $90, it really put new life in a pistol that I thought was meh, you know. Um, <laughs> Nowadays, these are these are cheaper. You can get them for about 380 bucks. Um, back when I bought mine, they were closer to 500, and so 500. I've had it for about seven and a half, eight years now, and I've put about 150 bucks worth of new springs in it in that time. I can't complain. Um, so while we're talking about upgraded springs, mention the DeSantis kit and its um, trigger spring and, and hammer spring. It also comes with some uh, top level parts. One of the things I recently added um, is a Galloway Precision uh, upgraded recoil spring and what they call their blackened uh, guide rod. Let's see if I can show you that. And uh, this is just a stronger guide rod and a much heavier spring to help tame some of the recoil. Now again, this is a small gun, doesn't have a whole lot of recoil, but it does have, um, you know, uh, you feel some heat in your hands just because of it's a small frame. Um, so interested to see how that handles. Um, I've also switched to um, using more of a grease as opposed to an oil, and that's really slickened up the action quite a bit um, over over in years past. So let me first reassemble this, <clears throat> and I'll give you a quick run through what all I have. You know, I mentioned the Santiago trigger kit. Um, <coughs> pardon me. One thing that wears out on these pistols is the mag release. So I've recently upgraded to um, Galloway Precision's uh, metal mag release, and what it does is it really locks these spring, locks these mags in here a whole lot better. One thing I used to hate is if you weren't careful, uh, you'd hear this thing. Oh, it was a little louder than I was hoping. You'd hear this thing kind of pop in your pocket, and so you'd be carrying it, or you'd be walking around, you'd sit down, and you'd hear, you'd hear a click where the mag came undone in your pocket, and. I just got to the point where I was I was afraid it was going to drop the mag under recoil or what have you. This really uh, really solved that problem. Um, you know, I mentioned the hammer spring and the trigger spring, the upgraded recoil spring, the upgraded guide rod. Um, talked about the laser. Uh, one thing I did also, I used the Birchwood KC sight paint just to give me a different profile on the fixed blade sights. Um, I, these are adjustable sights, but. Uh, I did white sight paint on the back and uh, kind of a reddish orange on the front. Um, it's actually held up pretty well, it, and I can always redo it fairly simple. Um, but it's taken a small frame and allowed me to, to catch a visual on it right away, and I like that quite a bit. So first things first, let me reassemble this, and again, it's standard like most pistols. Uh, with the exception of you got to get the takedown lever just right. Function test. If 
Okay. So, we talked about the gun and all its features, talked about the laser, talked about the upgrades, talked about the holsters and the holster options that I carry this with. Now let's talk mags. Um, so these are factory mags, six plus one. I actually have four, may even have five mags total. I've got three on the bench with me here. Um, but <clears throat> one of the things that Galloway Precision offers as well is a company called Mag Guts, and Mag Guts has a plus one spring kit that takes a factory mag from six plus one in the gun to seven plus one. Um, I mentioned, you know, the smaller round of a 380, and it doesn't necessarily have the, the bang of a nine millimeter, 40 or 45, or, you know, I often carry a 10 millimeter as well. But having eight shots, you know, seven plus one now, uh, plus another mag uh, in the pocket, these are very small magazines, you can stick them anywhere. Um, really, really was a selling attractive feature. So I added the Mag Guts kit um, to all my magazines and with the upgraded Mag Spring and the Mag Catch uh, from Galilee Precision, it, it works out pretty good. So just wanted to show you this. Um, you know, we've got some life changes coming up uh, in my house with the baby on the way and uh, with some work stuff. And <clears throat> obviously I need to feel better. I woke up this morning feeling like hell. Uh, but about 15 days from now, we'll have another kid in the house, and you know we wanted to do some other videos. Caden and I did. It's just we're having to work it through a schedule. Um, I'm going to upload this, and let me know of any comments. If anyone has any specific questions about uh, my 380, let me know. I'm not sponsored by Galloway Precision, but I do um, want to share that I had a really good uh, buying experience and, and, and learned a lot about my pistol just by uh, ordering their products and looking at the videos and doing the install myself. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to uh, to share that and if you have any more comments like to subscribe